In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the paper size of your layout document after you have sent your floor plan to layout. So you can clearly see here that I have this beautiful floor plan. This is actually the floor plan from the bonus course in my bundle course for Interior Design Institute students. And I am going to add some dimensions. So this is an A4 sized page, okay? And I'm going to add some dimensions right here. And you can instantly see that this is tight, guys. This is really tight, okay? There's not a whole load of space right here. It's not too bad at the sides, but the minute I want to add a hierarchy of dimensions, which means adding more within or under, you know, the first set, things start to look very crowded, okay? And this happens a lot. So you at this stage would probably need to make a decision as to whether you're going to continue using the A4 sized page or if you are going to go up a size to A3 sized, okay? And this is where people start asking me questions a lot because they're not sure of the most efficient and effective way of changing the paper size. There's two different ways that you can do this depending on how organized you are when it comes to setting up your title blocks and documents in layout, okay? So I already have templates set up and I show you how to do this in course six. Um, so I already have templates set up for title blocks that are already constructed. So if I go into File and New and then go to My Templates, here is my pre-constructed templates that have borders and title blocks. And I'm going to choose IDI A3 template. This is already set up and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to go back in to my original floor plan here that's in layout. And what I'm going to do is select the floor plan and I'm going to press shift and just select those dimensions as well. Because I'm just going to bring everything over. Okay, I'm going to go to edit and copy and then I'm going to select this tab where my A3 template is and then I'm going to select edit and paste. And then I'm going to click and drag and just bring that down, just center it. And you can see the outline of that viewport, that, that blue bounding box. So I'm just going to click and drag. Just make sure you hold down the mouse and try to position that so that it's centered and then release. And then I'm just going to click in the gray area here just to take a look at what we've got. OK, now don't forget, because this is an A3 sized page, um, the floor plan is going to look smaller, but it's exactly the same scale. We haven't changed that. If I select that floor plan, you can see here that we have a scale of 150. If I go into the original, click that floor plan, you can see it's still 150. It's the paper size has changed. OK, and you can see here now that those dimensions have loads of space um, to fill up the outside of that floor plan. If you wanted to amend the dimensions to give them a little bit more room, you can click on that. Let's just zoom in. Uh, hover over that arrow until you see the cursor changing to a double arrow. Click and drag and just bring that up. And do the same here. Just click and drag, bring it out. And the same here as well just to give them a little bit more room. Then go to view, zoom extents, and that's it guys. That is how you change the paper size. Now that's one way to do it if you have already created templates in layout. So let's pretend that you haven't. So let's go back in to our original um, A4 paper size. And what I'm going to do is go to file, document setup, and change that from A4 to A3 and then close. So this is what we're left with, okay? And what we're going to do is just edit the border and title block. 
and then reposition the floor plan. So what I'm going to do is select the border. I'm going to click on this arrow right here and then drag and just, I'm just going to eyeball it here, guys. I'm just going to bring it out to the side so that it's the same distance as the other line on the other side. Okay. And then release. I'm going to do the same down here. Click and drag, bring it down, just eyeball it for the minute and then just click in the gray area. Okay, so what we've done is just brought out the vertical and horizontal lines off the border so that they are filling that page. To make sure that it's centered, click on that rectangle. This is a really big rectangle. Right click, hover over center, click vertically on page. Do that again, center, horizontally on page. And now you, you know that it is 100% centered on that page that border okay but we need to sort out the key here as well so i'm going to click and drag and create a rectangle around the line of the key so there's a line here on the left hand side i'll do a little arrow to show you where that is and all of the contents of that um title block because this is the actual title block right here but we need to move that over as well make sure your object snap is on so that or oh, let me just do that again so that we can snap this title block to the right hand corner you can see it's snapping right there with the little green circle and then release okay so there is our original title block we have brought it over to the right hand side but it's a little bit too small uh, for the size of this page. So let's just bring that out a little so that it's taken up a little bit more space. Now what we're going to have to do is bring all of the text over to this new left-hand side um, of the title block. So what I'm going to do is just select everything here. So I've just clicked and dragged. I've created a rectangle. And then what I'm going to do is just move everything over. So wait for your cursor to change to the four directional arrows, click and drag, snap it to the, the left hand corner there so that you're using a guide so that everything is precise. And now we've just brought that over. We need to amend all the individual lines here as well so that they're all uh, precise and connected to the actual border. So let's just do that. So unfortunately, when I'm trying to select this line, um, it's actually selecting the text box here. So let's just move that down so we have a little bit more room to do that. That's great. And then let's just move that back up again. And let's do the same here because we need to amend this. Just bring that over until it snaps. Great. And what else do we need to do? We need to amend this. Let's just bring that up, that text box, so that we can access this line. Bring it over until it snaps. And is that us? Yeah. So let's go to View, Zoom Extents. There is our lovely title block. Now what I'm going to do is reposition the floor plan and the dimensions. So I'm just going to create a square around the floor plan and the dimensions. And I can see that the floor plan hasn't actually been selected because there's there's no blue bounding box there so i'm going to press shift and just select that there we go it's because the bounding box was out here okay and i didn't create a square that uh, included that so let's just move that into the center as best we can and release and it could probably go to the left a little bit there as well let's just move that over again you could group this if you wanted to guys um, and then you, you would just need to select it once. You know, you would right click and select make group. And if I just click off that, every time you click that, everything would then be selected. Okay, so let's just move that over a little. Okay, that's better. Um, obviously, if you wanted to amend anything like the dimensions, you would need to double click that then so that you can access those individual areas so that you can amend those. For example, if you wanted to bring the dimensions out a little bit more from um, the floor plan. So let's just do that because they're, they're looking a little bit tight. 
let's do it with this one bring that out a little click on the gray area just to end that action and that's it guys that is how you amend the paper size in layout after you have um, exported your floor plan